हेलो वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अगेन फॉर दैट या फॉर योर नेक्स्ट क्लास क्लास सेवन मैथ्स देन लेट्स सी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ योर मैथमेटिक्स लेट्स सी देर इज गिवन द सम बैरेंस एंड सम नंबर्स ऑन दिस बैरेंस विद द मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन देन लेट्स सी यू हैव टू put first of all 18 just that here is given the 18 suppose that you have 18 rupees and already 12 rupees in a barrel then when 18 rupees you collect in with a 12 then the result is 12 plus 18 should be here 30 and after that this 30 you have to again in next barrel so 30 but here is given the divide minus 3 if you divide 30 with a minus 3 first you add 18 plus 2 you got 30 and after that 30 divide minus 3 you got minus 10 the result you have to write here after that this minus you have to put In your next pair, there is five into multiple pi, then minus ten multiple pi, you will get minus fifty rupees. And again, in your next pair, you have to put this one minus fifty and plus fifty, then minus fifty and plus fifty three, you will get plus. Last again, you have to put plus three in the last barrel minus two. That means plus three and minus two is equal to one. Then your result will be one at your last barrel. So this expression you have to solve by this call by following this method. Now today, your chapter one. Has over, but there are some important question as a multiple choice question and a thinking skill in your book. I hope you will complete your multiple choice questions. These questions are related to your chapter one. Now I am going to solve your some thinking skill related question from your book. The first question from your exercise thinking skill is: Gaurav's bank balance was rupees two thousand. You can see the question is here. Gaurav's bank balance was rupees two thousand. In a month, he deposited rupees three hundred. Rupees seven hundred fifty and four fifty, and issued a check worth rupees seven hundred and twelve hundred fifty rupees. Find the balance in Gaurav's account at the end. Then already written here that in Gau in Gaurav's bank account there are two rupees, two thousand rupees. Sorry. Deposited three hundred seven fifty and four fifty. So at the end, what else is there? In two thousand, he deposited first. Rupees and four hundred fifty rupees. So if he deposited, that means this will add in Gaurav's account, and after that he issued check 
of rupees 700 and 1250 rupees. So this one will be 750 rupees and minus 1250 rupees. So 700 rupees. So these expressions are numbers are in positive form and these are in negative form. So add these positive. has a 30 marbles. In 5 gems he won 3 marbles each and in 7 gems he lost 2 marbles which find the marbles Raghuraj at the end of gems. At the start Raghuraj has If he won, if he won, then he got. If he won, he get five gems, okay. three marbles each. And if he lost, he lost two marbles in seven gems. So one that means number should be in plus, and loss number should be minus. At the end, Raghuraj's score for 30 marbles already have Raghuraj. The next, he played 5 gems and won 3 marbles in each. And he played another 7 gems. But he lost minus uh, two marbles each. So now thirty plus five three is a fifteen plus seven two is a fourteen. What is it? Minus e plus forty five plus minus minus fourteen. Convert temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. We multiply by 9 upon 5 and add 32. As given the formula to change Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius. F equal to 9C upon 5 plus 32. C denotes degree Celsius. So if we have any temperature in degree Celsius, we have to convert in a foreign height by this method or a formula. So we have some questions. Celsius is equal to minus 15 degrees Celsius. So if we change in Fahrenheit, 9 into minus 15 upon 5 and plus 32. 
5 3 is a 50 9 3 is a 27 there is a minus symbol and plus 35 so 32 then plus 32 minus 27 the result will be is in plus 5 degree 4 and The next question is question number 6. In a microbiology laboratory, certain tests are done under controlled temperature. The variation in temperature is by fixed number of degrees per minute. Evaluate each of the following. The first question of 6a is the temperature at the beginning of an experiment is 20 degrees centigrade. Is it 20 degrees Celsius? It increases by 4 degrees centigrade per minute. And what is the temperature at the end of the experiment? It took 15 minutes to complete. That means after 15 minutes. That is already given. Temperature increases 4 degree centigrade per minute. That means in 15 minutes, it will increase 15 into 4, 60 degree. So, temperature at the end. 20 degree temperature already at the beginning and increases. That means plus 4 degree centigrade per minute. 15 minutes, it will be increased 15 into 4 in 20 degrees Celsius plus 60 degrees Celsius. It will be 80 degrees Celsius. Today, your chapter 1 has completely covered. I hope you will complete your chapters in your notebook. I will start the next chapter in your next classes.